My dear friends, welcome back once again. This video is for your N400 Part 12 questions and the most asked vocabularies for the U.S. Citizenship Interview. It is recommended to watch the full length of this video without skipping any part of it. Please remember, you must need to know all the vocabularies to pass your N-400 interview. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. What does registered mean? To sign up. Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? No officer. What is genocide? To kill a whole race. Do you now have? Or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. Please define hereditary title. A royal title such as prince or princess. Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Define permanent resident. Lawfully authorized to live permanently. Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Define drafted. Being selected as a soldier. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with any other totalitarian party? No, never. What does totalitarian party mean? Government controls everything and people have no power. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No, never. What does confined means? To be kept in a place. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No officer. What does it mean to be convicted?
To be found guilty of a crime. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier? Or did you otherwise ever serve in detention facility? No. Define detention facility. A place where people are forced to stay. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with the Communist Party? No, never. What does Communist Party mean? No freedom like China. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? No. What does parole mean? Early release of a prisoner. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I do. Do you understand what civilian direction means? A direction from a person who is not in the military. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help or otherwise participate in a vigilante unit? No officer. What is a vigilante unit? A group of people who acts like the police, but are not the police. Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? No, never. What does weapons training mean? To learn how to use a gun. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. What is a habitual drunkard? Someone who drinks too much alcohol regularly. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No, I don't. What does owe taxes mean? Owe any money to the government. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? No. Please define claim.
To say something is true. Have you ever applied for any kind of exemption for military service in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. What is an exemption? Special permission for not doing something. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in labor camp? No. What is labor camp? A place where people are forced to work. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No. What does O mean? To have a debt. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. What does gamble mean? To play a game for money. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help or otherwise participate in a self-defense unit? No. What is a self-defense unit? A unit that protects itself against any attack without others' help. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? For example, diversion, deferred prosecution, withheld adjudication, deferred adjudication. No. What does an alternative sentencing mean? A different way to punish. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, Rescission or deportation proceedings? No. What does rescission mean? To take back a decision. Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No, never. What does it mean to file a tax return? To send tax paperwork to the government. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, of course.
Do you understand what Oath of Allegiance is? A promise to be loyal to the United States. Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No. What does alimony mean? It is financial support. Have you ever been discharged from training or service in the U.S. Armed Forces because you were an alien? No. What is an alien? Not a U.S. citizen. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. What does it mean to obtain? To get something. Have you ever advocated, either directly or indirectly, the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No, officer. Please define overthrow of any government. To remove a government from power. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Do you know what vote means? To elect new leaders. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. What does it mean to commit a crime? To do something that breaks the law. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or gain immigration benefits in the United States? No. What does admission into the United States mean? Enter into the United States. Have you ever been ordered removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Define exclude. To prevent from entering into the United States. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes, I do.
What are non-combatant services? Services that do not involve combat. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? For example, diversion, deferred prosecution, withheld adjudication, deferred adjudication. No. What is withheld adjudication? Like a second chance. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? No. What does claim to be a U.S. citizen mean? To state you are a U.S. citizen. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help or otherwise participate in a militia? No officer. Please define militia. An army who does not work for a government. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with a terrorist organization? No, never. What is a terrorist organization? An organization that uses violence against people. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No. What is prostitute? Someone who does physical relation for money. Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No. What does pay alimony mean? Pay money to an ex-spouse after a divorce as per court order. Do you now have, or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No, never. What is order of nobility? Like king or queen. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? For example, diversion, deferred prosecution, withheld adjudication, deferred adjudication. No. What does diversion mean?
a different program to avoid jail time. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No, never. Do you understand what misrepresentation is? To provide wrong information. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? No, never. What is probation? To report to an officer on a regular basis instead of a jail time. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, of course. What does the Constitution mean? It is the supreme law of the land. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, of course. What does bear arms mean? To own or use a gun. Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. What does it mean to avoid being drafted? To prevent being selected as a soldier. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. Can you explain what mental institution is? Hospital for people with mental problems. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? No, never. What does suspended sentence mean? Delaying a sentence. Have you ever been ordered removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. What does it mean to deport? To force a person to leave a country. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, officer. Do you understand what Oath of Allegiance is?
A promise to be loyal to the United States. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. What does fraudulent mean? To claim something that is not true. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. What does civilian mean? A person who is not in the military. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in paramilitary unit? No officer. What is a paramilitary unit? Like a military group, but not official. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. What does offense mean? A minor crime. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? For example, diversion, deferred prosecution, withheld adjudication, deferred adjudication? No. Define deferred prosecution. Such as community service. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. What is public benefit? Government programs that provide assistance to the public. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, of course. What is work of national importance? Tasks that are important to a nation. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. What does it mean to deport? To force a person to leave a country.
Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? For example, diversion, deferred prosecution, withheld adjudication, deferred adjudication. No. What is rehabilitative program? A program to help someone to restore health. Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No, never. What is non-U.S. resident? A person who does not live in the U.S. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help or otherwise participate in an insurgent organization? No. What is insurgent organization? A group who fights against a government. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No. What does it mean to procure? To find someone to do physical relation. Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No. What does alimony mean? Financial support. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help or otherwise participate in a guerrilla group? No. What is a guerrilla group? A group who uses weapons to attack the government. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No, officer. What is overdue? Pass a deadline. Have you ever persecuted, either directly or indirectly, any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. What is national origin? Where a person is from. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? No. What does detain mean?
held in the custody by police. Have you ever persecuted, either directly or indirectly, any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. What does persecute mean? To hurt someone badly. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. What is deportation proceedings? Process of removing a person. Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No. Define dependent. Someone who relies on another person. Were you ever involved in any way with forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations? No, officer. What is forcing for sexual contact or relations? To touch someone's body when they don't want it. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? For example, Diversion, deferred prosecution, withheld adjudication, deferred adjudication. No. What is deferred adjudication? Such as community service. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. What is immigration benefit? An advantage that is related to immigration. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. What does the form of government of the United States mean? Republic. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help or otherwise participate in a rebel group? No, never. What is a rebel group? A group who fights a government. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent 
or been confined to a mental institution? No. Do you know what legally incompetent means? Can't make any decision as per law because of mental problem. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with any other totalitarian party? No, never. What does totalitarian party mean? Government controls everything and people have no power.